used to call my kids baggage. I'm like, wow, we 45 years old and still acting like this. Because you're saying but kids listen. baggage. But listen. If a man said that about a woman. It's not. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. Little Black Book, you know what time it is. Talking to you guys about Ready to Love, and we're dealing with Mike and Sharice. And Sharice called Mike's kids baggage. Baby! She's out of pocket with that one. Um, but uh, we're going to break it down and talk a little bit about uh, Sharice and Mike. I, talk, I did a part one where I spoke about Mike's uh, sensitivity and how he has to be very careful in what he says back when he's frustrated. And I'm also talking now about Sharice and the fact that in this particular situation, um, you know, why did she describe the kids as baggage? Why was that the terminology she used? Um, and as, does this fit the profile of Sharice once more again? Because we keep talking about Sharice um, uh, and her particular behavior. And I'm wondering, uh, are we, are we, uh, this is another aspect of Sharice where, you know, that mean streak comes in even the way she describes certain things. Let's talk a little bit about it. You know what I mean? And let me know your thoughts well down below as well. Well, like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification of the uploads. And for those of you who are returnees, you already know what it is, baby. You got the middle rose. You got a middle rose. Uh, stay hydrated because the squeeze out there, they are hot. Let's get into this video. Let's get deeper. Let's get in. You get roasted and toasted. All I'm mm. saying is that I don't have any kids. Now, of course, she went on to explain that what she meant was that she didn't have no kids. Um, I don't know, because they, they, they edited a piece of this, so I'm going to say this, but they might have edited it, and I don't mind rescinding it and taking it back later on. What we saw in uh, the conversation is that she called him his, bag, his kids basically baggage and the, and the divorce baggage, which I can understand. What I know what she meant, right? She meant, obviously, no, what I meant was I don't want to be in a situation with somebody who's already divorced and someone's already got kids. I want to be able to do this fresh and brand new, which is fair. Right, uh, the way it was delivered, okay, was in poor taste. But actually, it seems to be in cohesion with the way that she delivers things. Anyway, when she was speaking to Kayla uh, last ep uh, last episode and talking about I don't need a man, da 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 da, that was also in poor taste in the way she described it. She probably didn't mean it ill in that particular way, and you know, saying that men are prize, they feel like the prize or whatever. I'm the prize. I pay my bill. Da -da. Maybe she didn't mean it in that way, but she has a very poor way of delivering something. And this is actually very important because now what this talks about is the fact that communication isn't just what you say. It's how it's understood. And a good communicator does think about how a message can be received. So sometimes you'll hear me say something. In fact, I've seen even audience members do it to me saying, oh, I've heard coaches say the same thing. But when someone else said it, I couldn't really receive it. And that's not to boast myself. It's more to say that I actually do think about how it will be received. Like emotionally, I think about how will somebody receive this particular message in this particular way. So there will be ways that I will use certain words to describe certain things so that it can bypass and be received by a certain group. I know that what I'm saying to, to something might be very hard. And so if it's very hard, I might need to deliver it in a different way than I usually do. And you have to think about that. So she's not thinking. That for me screams somebody who's not as empathetic as they need to be. They're not thinking about how the message can be received. This is not the first time she's said something like this. This is, this is, a, this is not the first time she's been insensitive. Bear in mind also as well, Mike was also there when she was insensitive towards Dominica. She has a history of being insensitive when she was talking about Dominica, not once, but twice. One behind her back, laughing at her, and the second time telling her to basically close, basically that she's too loud in front of Mike. She doesn't understand timing and season. There's a way to deliver certain informations, right? So that it's received well. And when someone doesn't think about that, it's because they don't care about that. What they believe is the truth is supreme. Truth without love, you hear me say all the time, is cruelty, right? Truth without love is cruelty. We're not trying to be cruel here. We're trying to date. And if you have a habit of being a bang, bang, and I said this last year when I said this with Joy's situation when she was dealing with Demetrius, that telling the truth isn't the issue. It's the time, it's the season, it's the a reason why and the motive behind you telling the truth. If it's a bang bang moment, it's not really about the truth. It's about how you feel and getting and letting off a slug or two of how you feel into that person and letting them feel what you feel. It's got nothing to do with the truth at that point. You're just weaponizing the truth in that moment to get your to, to, to make you feel better. And something that Sharice needs to really work on from what we can see on these episodes, is communicating to understand, not just communicating. Speaking to un be understood, 
because she explained it later on and she actually made sense. I, I, what I meant was, that, and what I didn't hear in all this conversation, which I was waiting to hear, and maybe it was edited out because they edited a piece of when he was talking, is an apology. When you, when, because, you know, when he said, obviously, wow, you call my kids baggage, we didn't hear her say, listen, I'm sorry, that's not, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that, you know, my bad. What I meant was, that she just was like, well, that's not what I went, that's what I meant. What I meant was, da da da. So we know that Cerise doesn't have that empathetic bone, unfortunately. That's just not in her. So any man who's watching that, if you know you need a woman that's going to be empathetic, that's not going to be the woman for you. There is somebody for her, but that's not for you, right? Um, and that lack of ability to empathize is why she said what she said in that moment, as how she said it. Why? Because it just, it wasn't good timing. That's I a just red haven't flag been for there. me. And, that, and I respect At that. 45? I'm not upset. I'm and what you have to realize is Mike, Mike got a little bit annoyed, right? And it was like, it's red flag for me. And I spoke about this in another video. But you've noticed Sharice keeps at the same level. Listen, Sharice can antagonize and she will, she will always win. Because if you allow yourself to get emotional, she's not, she's not going there. She's not going to get the emotional spat of it. No, nope. that's not Sharice's tactic at all. That's not her beginner behavior. She will let you rise up, but she won't rise up. She will let you rise up, but she won't rise up. And now you look like a fool because you've risen up for what reason? You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it's crazy, but that, that'd be it. That'd be the truth, man, you know? Um, so hopefully Sharice can learn from this and say, actually, I need to look at why I say what I say and why I say it the way that I do. And do I also offer an apology when I do say these things? Do I try to make it up to the person? Do I let the person know that I'm sorry for what I've said? Because I didn't see a sorry here, right? I didn't see a sorry here. Let me know what your thoughts were. What did you guys think of the kids as a baggage comment, you know? Like, kids are not baggage, you know what I mean? All right, they are, and especially when the fact that he came from a divorce and then he had, and, and also had the kids, and it's all in one marriage. Like, why is that baggage? But maybe she's also, and maybe the two truths can be true, um, two things can be true. Maybe she's also seen something in Mike in the way that he behaves, whether he's fully ready for a relationship. Maybe he's still hurting from those past, that past marriage. Maybe he's still feeling the effects of that last marriage. Who knows? Maybe she saw something also. I want to be fair to her, but in all honesty, calling someone's kids baggage and then thinking that you're going to uh, not apologize just shows me the kind of person that she really is when it comes to dealing with people. Um, you know, she, she plays a strong, stern role, but you know what? Most people, and I saw someone said it on our live, most people that do that kind of thing, they're soft inside. You know, it's trauma that takes them to making them this strong, tough, independent, um, nothing hurts me kind of situation bar. Uh, babe, you just, need to tell, just, you just need to be conscientious of the way you deliver a message. Think about the other person because now the person's hurt and they're feeling some type of way. You don't want to feel like you're responsible for that. But she may not because she's not empathetic. So it is what it is, they say. Uh, but uh, again, Sharice has shown her hand once more. Like it, share, subscribe. Click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate it, guys.